today I'm working on weaving a Raya rug. Now Raya rugs were traditionally made in Finland and Scandinavia uh, since about the 1500s and they were used as bed coverings and wall hangings and they were traditionally made using linen warp and a wool weft and the thickness of the pile made the blankets and rugs very warm to sleep under and then they were originally made in, in natural wool colors and then they became more decorative and they started making them in, in multiple colors and designs and all sorts of patterns. The one I'm weaving right now is actually made out of 100% hemp. The warp is, is a three-ply hemp yarn and the weft is a single-ply hemp as well. And I'm weaving a little bit differently today because I'm spacing it uh, farther apart in the set so that it um, is much lighter because I find the hemp is quite heavy when it's hung on a wall. Uh, first, to do a weave a raya rug, you, you normally weave um, about an inch of wool weft in there. In this case, I'm using just the same uh, hemp warp. And then knots are tied um, uh, across two warp threads uh, in a Giordi's knot, which is similar to what they use in, in Persian carpets. So here I've woven, I've knotted these across, and I'm just going to continue weaving this section and show you how it's done. Um, I cut the wool into about three inch lengths and then take a bunch of them in, in my hand, raise two threads and tie a knot. Uh, I use a very scientific and very technical equipment with a cardboard, a piece of cardboard that I folded in half and I wrap the yarn around it and then cut it to give me the approximately even sizes of yarn. The, once it's woven, all these ends are trimmed to make them much more even and, and um, so I don't really worry about whether there's long lengths of yarn in it while I'm weaving. So I'll take some yarn and cut it. I wrap it around the cardboard. I put my scissors through and cut. And there's the blue one, and I'll do the orange one as well. Now the loom is threaded to a tabby weave structure so that on um, alternate sheds, um, shafts two and four come up and on the opposite one, one and three come up. So I'm going to raise um, shafts two and four and I'm going to pick the next two warp threads that are raised and I'm going to wrap the knot around these two threads. So I'm going to take a bunch of threads that are about this thickness because that's how thick I want the yarn to be. You can make them thicker, you can make them thinner depending on what type of rug and effect you want to have. I raise these two threads, I put the yarn underneath the thread like this, hold it in one hand, open them, and pull the yarn through and pull down, forming a knot. The next two threads, while still holding shafts three and five, three and four, no, two and four up, put the yarn through and pull. I straighten these out a little bit, pick up the next two threads, put the yarn through, and pull. I'm just doing the colored threads right now and I'm going to go back and fill in the blank the black spaces afterwards because I find it easier just to do it in that order.
to match up the lengths of them so they're fairly even as I'm putting the bundle together. more orange. I didn't have quite enough for the last few knots, so just wind a bit more. Once you've tied a full row of knots all the way across, then you're going to weave about an inch um, of plain tabby weave in between um, the rows of knots. So when, you weave this, when you get to this end, um, there's a space here uh, at the edge, so you want to weave the selvage in first to fill this in before you continue with your weaving. So it's going to take about four or five rows of, of tabby just through this edge here to fill it in so that you don't end up with a big gap in your weaving. And now you're going to weave. Tabby weave. About three quarters to an inch. the next row of knots. So you're going to press on the opposite shed. So you're going to get one and three coming up and then pick up the, again, the warp ends to tie the knots around. And that's it. And you just continue weaving and then your rye rug is finished. And you'll be one